Uh, we've recently had a, a reasonable number of um, people contact us about some some Gyrock Model Bs not working um, effectively. Um, they've usually purchased these straight out of the US. Um, <coughs> Tag at the maker of the Gyrock has had trouble with um, motor supply and he's fitted a, a motor that he says is okay at 60 hertz. Um, our Australian power is 50 hertz and they, light, they run for about 10 minutes and then shut down. Um, they're just not appropriate for Australian use, so just be very, very careful if you're buying tumblers. Um, <coughs> the dealers in Australia are aware of this, and any, anyone that hasn't got old stock um, has withdrawn the tumblers, or they should have. Um, but if you get stuck, uh, you've either got an old tumbler, um, an old gork, which is thousands of them around, and you can't get a motor for it, or you've bought a tumble from overseas and um, it is for 60 hertz incorrect motor. Uh, we have got a solution and I'll show you how to change that motor over. So this is <coughs> appropriate too if it's a change over on a, on a standard machine. So just pop that belt guard off again. Um, just remove the belt, so slip that off. You should take a belt off if it's sitting idle for some time. <clears throat> so, a two and a half mil Allen key. And just remove that pulley. Remove the pulley off the motor. <clears throat> and you've just got three three nuts to take off off the motor. So it's quite a simple process. The um, Replacement motors come with the appropriate three pin plug, or our, our replacement motors do. <clears throat> so you, you haven't got any, any wiring to worry about, but you do need to um, just have a, an Allen key set, a metric Allen key set, <clears throat> and a couple of spanners, shifting spanner can do. Okay, just spin, spin those three nuts off. <coughs> just um, remove the motor off, off the bottom. So, <coughs> um, this is one of the culprit motors. If you see one of those, the Dayton 60 Hertz motor, um, run a mile because it, it just won't keep working. <coughs> now, the issue is that um, we're unable to get replacement Model B motors, the genuine motors. Um, all our stock of tumblers that we sell still have the original proven motor and we have a stock of motors to keep those tumblers operating um, under our warranty obligations but <clears throat> if you have an old tumbler or you've bought a tumbler from overseas um, we do have a replacement motor that will fit um, it's slightly different slightly bigger but it is the correct voltage it does work it's been tested thoroughly um, you can see it's a little bit larger motor uh, it's very much the same specifications, just only about 0.2 of an amp bigger. Um, <clears throat> but the only difference, apart from being larger, <laughs> is it only has two, two mounting studs instead of the three mounting studs. Uh, we've test run these for ages and ages and we haven't had any, any issues whatsoever. Um, but I'll just show you how, <laughs> how I suggest you mount these up. Um, as I say, we our, our tumblers will be supported with, with the correct motor for our warranty periods. <coughs> but after that, if we can't, can't get the old motors, uh, we'll be reverting back to a different motor because they are just not available anymore. So, <coughs> just a simple process to, to fit. No, no drilling, no, <coughs> no machine work at all. Just um, fit the motor up in there instead of the three three nuts you're only using two <coughs> and just go like that um, quite simple um, <coughs> if anyone's concerned about um, going back to a two two stud mount which I don't believe is an issue um, just grab yourself some slastic any sort of slastic from a hardware shop just do a smear around around the motor it will just give you that little bit of extra adhesion <coughs> and it will still be removable if you ever need to change the motor. So just slip that motor up there. <coughs> Two nuts. And 
and just tighten those. And look, I'd suggest um, <coughs> just leave, leave the cover off for now, and just make sure you just re-tighten those nuts after you run it for an hour or so. It's, um, it's not a bad idea anyway to just to check those mounting points. So just tighten those up normally. <coughs> Just fit the um, fit the poi. So again, just with a two and a half mil Allen key fits fits well. So just pick yourself up an Allen key set from your local hardware shop or reject shop or whatever. Just make sure when you fit that poi down, you push it right down and just lift it just slightly so it's not actually not actually touching the the um, green part of the machine. So fit that up. <coughs> just check your alignment again just to align the driven pulley with about the centre center of that pulley. Um, so if you need to move this one slightly slightly down or up just do that. Now the only issue that you'll have um, with running this type of motor <coughs> is that the, um, the belt guard doesn't fit on the studs because the studs aren't quite as long. <clears throat> they're long enough to locate the motor, but they're not long enough to locate the the, um, the cover. So, <clears throat> so there's a couple of ways of doing it. Um, <clears throat> probably the easiest way is just again, just a, a good dob of slastic, bing bing. <clears throat> and just just fit you fit your cover on, just let it set overnight and um, yeah problems problem solved but um, that's really the only drawback in in this type of motor um, it is, it's got the right right plug it's got an on-off switch in, in line and yeah we have tested it thoroughly and it does does operate correctly so that'll keep the old old model B's and as I said before there's probably thousands of them out there going the motor's currently retailed $188, um, so it's, it does keep those machines going. And if you, if you're unlucky enough to have bought one from another supplier that's got this incorrect um, motor, that will also rectify that issue for you.